hi everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to make a flower bouquet using a simple 2d shape and i will be using the translate rotate and the map functions in it to make it so let's start let's start by making a rect you will be thinking that how the rect will turn into a flower you will see how it will so we will give its origin uh, x and y positions as mouse x mouse y and uh, not mouse c mouse y and then we are going to be giving its within height as 40 40 and then we are going to make it move and see that yes it's moving around with the mouse and as you can see my mouse pointer is pointing towards the top left hand corner of the rectangle we don't want that we want our rectangle to be controlled from the middle so from the center so we are going to write that rect mode center and when we do that and make it work you can see my mouse pointer is now in the middle of the rectangle now the next thing we have to do is to make our background move from the function draw to function setup why we need that we want our background to be a, uh, not clearing the rectangle all the time so we want the rectangles to be appearing so we put the background in the setup for that so now the next thing i need you to do is we want our fill uh, so we don't want our rectangle to be filled we want it to be having no fill and we want the stroke to be there only so in the stroke we are not going to write any numbers i'm going to use the variable of mouse x and mouse y so let's say mouse y mouse y let's see what not again the mouse c yeah mouse y now let's see what kind of colors we get now as you can see there are the different colors you can see as you move around now after doing that the next thing we have to do is we are going to use our translate function what is the translate function translate function basically changes the existing uh, origin to a new origin so in this case we are going to be using this translate to keep the origin of the rectangle in it so we are going to remove the mouse x mouse y from here and put it inside the translate and we will replace it by zero zero showing that this is the x and y position uh, which is inside which is corresponding to the translate x and y position so nothing has changed it remains the same now the next thing we have to do is to bring in the rotate in 2d the rotate cannot function without the translates that's why the translate is not doing much in here but it's only required for the rotate and rotate takes the variable of angle so we are going to make a variable global variable of angle here and we are going to say that the angle is zero at first and we are going to say in the draw that the angle is incrementing by 0 0.03 and now we are going to bring in the rotate and then give it the variable angle in it now when we see move it around you can see the rectangle has started rotating and making circles but it's doesn't look like any flower to me so let's do something to make it into a proper flower it should be appearing so for that we need an a local variable let's say is d and let's map 
this variable uh, to the variable of sine which takes the angle as the inside it and sine ranges from minus 1 to 1 and uh, this is its original range now we are going to give it a new range and that new range it will be from 5 to 40 and now let's see what will happen so now when I move my oh sorry we didn't give this variable inside the rect so we are going to give this uh, use this variable of d in the width and the height of the rectangle that will only change anything which is happening here so now when i see you can see kind of flower fully flower is started forming and as i move more of them can be formed but they are of not very nice color so let's work on the color let's say let's instead of this mouse y let's change its y with d let's see what will happen if we just put a d in it what colors we get from here so we are getting some dark colors they have some shade in it but still they are too dark if you like it you can keep that way uh, let's try putting if uh, angle with it and let's see what colors now i will get so when i move it they're a little bit lighter colors let's see as I move you can see more colors and more flowers forming and you can to make this you have to wait for the center to be appearing and then as it will sit out you keep waiting for that and then if you put if it's pulsating out it will appear like this but when it's going inside and then you do it it will appear better so I wait for the middle part to go back in and then I move out and that's how I'm going to make my flowers in this way the flower bouquet can be formed in this way but we don't have the stem for these flowers so let's make the stem of these flowers using the Bezier curve so let's do that it will be a curvy thing which we can make so let's do that okay so let's say the stroke is saying to us that the stroke is green so for that we have 0 255 0 and we are going to say that our Bezier starts from 0 0 position which is top left hand corner here so it starts from 0 0 and let's say it moves down a bit so 100 and then 200 and then it becomes a little bit 200 and 300 i'm just using my own kind of sense to make it move from one position here to somehow here and then move it down here so if you move it just like that you can get get this also this also looks beautiful because it's changing and making nice colors okay let's try that out let's see 
we have the first stem form but we didn't do the no fill so it's also creating a no shade white shade which we don't want so let's see it's no fill and now when we do that now you can see the uh, stem is there the stem needs to be a bit thicker than that so let's increase the stroke weight this stroke weight let's say is round three let's see that's better you can see the stroke weight of it and you can make multiple of these so let's say I will make another one like that but see uh, when I move it now you can see the stroke of the other one is also increased so we don't want that to happen so we on that stroke weight from here to be here and we want that to be less so one is good so now yes our flower is formed with the stroke weight of one rather than now if i want to increase this stroke weight it will be increased without any problem and let's make another busy like this one so I will copy this and I'm going to paste it here and this time I'm going to say that it's starting from uh, x50 y0 and sticking the part of let's say 150 in the y I'm changing less in that and I'm saying that this is also 250 and this is 400 400 so you can see now I have two stamps I can change a little and I can make two stamps with that now let's try this out and make a flower bouquet with that carefully so our first flower is down go for the second one third one fourth and as you can see you can move between also you can make this flower okay for anyone your friends, your family, anyone. By using this, you can even use the text function to uh, some message to appear in that. You can ask them uh, by sending, sharing the link of this to use their mouse to make the flowers themselves. So this is how you can make the flower appear in this one. You can make some more things as well if you want. So this is what you can do to make flowers. Of different colors you can change the color of the flowers as well as you like to do as you wish what you just need to do is to play around with the variables put it here and there and see what you can get out of them and uh, let's change just one time our variable to see what we can do with that So if I play around with this and I will say that is minus angle so let's see what will happen and uh, let's say the mouse is there at minus angle so what kind of a color I will get. You can get some dark color once. It's up to you what color you want to choose and how you want to choose 
and do the things so you can make different color patterns you can use in this one the shade is not there so if I do plus angle again and if I do instead of mouse as minus D again and let's see what will happen so I'm just basically playing around with the color and the shades and I can get different patterns and colors using them so you can see you can make lots of different varieties of colors and things which you can use to make your flower bouquet and send it to someone for sending it to someone you can always have the option of here if you go to the file you save it first and then after saving it you there is a share and in the share you can do the share and once you click it it's copied to your clipboard and when you go and when you paste it in your google it will open the flower once here just like that and you can share it with anybody send this link to the uh, on the gmail to anybody and you can make them have fun making the bouquet themselves thank you for watching bye